Hi everyone, welcome to the Summit for Asset Management East Coast. I'm live here in New York City and today I'm joined by Tim Garbian, who is Managing Director of Aladdin at BlackRock. So welcome Tim, great to have you. Thank you, it's great to be here. I literally just came off a, a panel where we're talking about outsourced operations. Just point of introduction, I'm with BlackRock about eight years. I'm part of our Aladdin business and I basically travel the earth talking to asset managers and asset owners about their their current businesses, their strategic objectives, and how we could potentially help them through business and and technology transformation. That's fantastic. So speaking of technology transformation, obviously when we talk about digital transformation, it's not a new topic, but it's still very much top of mind for a lot of organizations. So what is holding them back and what, what do we need to do moving forward? So digital transformation is a massive topic. The number one thing that comes to mind when we think about digital transformation is this idea that the digital transformation project is an IT project, a technology-led project, whereas really it's about understanding the strategic priorities and it's really business change enabled by technology. That's the thing that holds organizations back. Fantastic. So with that in mind then, how do you define efficiency and how is this word evolving over the past three years? Efficiency, particularly in the world that we live in today, post-pandemic, we're living in a high volatility society as it relates to the markets. Efficiency, I would like to almost like translate into looking at human resource. And what we've seen organizations in the past do is try to outsource certain activities that are not core competencies or differentiators to them in order to maybe like reduce staff or reduce the, the footprint of the human resource. Today, we're seeing organizations trying to elevate talent. So move people from doing lower value add activities to much higher value add activities, like in the asset management world, to do like alpha gen and data science rather than things like reconciliation and data interface. That's great. So what does this change in talent and that approach have as an impact on the buy side technology space? What does this mean for the long term? Again, the world we live in, particularly with uh, the, the technology companies in the forefront, whether it's Google or Meta or Microsoft or whatever the case is, there's definitely a war for talent out there and for financial services the challenge is to make it a fulfilling experience one of the things we could do dovetailing back to what i was describing is give technologists or the citizen developer the opportunity to work on really cool things work on really cool projects that have a massive impact for the organization so when they when they compare it to working at meta or google it's actually quite cool. So given that then, how should firms prioritize outsourcing? How should they plan their outsourcing strategy for the media, for the medium term, for the long term? Going back to basics, I think fundamental business strategy, they should first look at what are they good at, what is their know-how, what are their core competencies, and really what gives them the competitive differentiation. For the activities that do not provide what I just described, those are all candidates for potential outsourcing to scale. And once those are identified, finding and being very specific about the activities and finding great partners to do that with. Amazing. And obviously data comes into this and data used to be considered the new oil. But nowadays, you know, that, throw, that word gets thrown around everywhere and, it, you know, is it a a golden goose or is it a white elephant? What's your thoughts on that? Well, I think I would lean towards the golden goose, maybe namely because I don't really know what a white elephant is except for a really cool hotel in Nantucket. Having said all that, the data is the gold. We believe at BlackRock that investment management is basically an information processing set of activities 
And getting that right is paramount to make sure that the portfolio managers, the people making investment decisions, have reliable, consistent, actionable data at any point during the day. Thank you. Well, some really great insight there from Tim and the BlackRock team at Aladdin have been presenting all day at the Summit for Asset Management East Coast. So you can watch the event in person, you can come to our next editions, and you can watch more interviews on YouTube. So thanks so much, Tim, for joining us. It's very exciting to be here, and we look forward to working with you soon. Thank you very much. And if you liked it, pound the like button and hit subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.